Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now April 7th of 2024 and just a couple of weeks ago we already know that Bob Iger has been wreaking havoc across the board at all divisions over at the Walt Disney Company. Marvel Studios by the way and Lucasfilm in my book are getting it worse than others out there like Walt Disney Animation Studios and Pixar etc etc and already Bob Iger has been really going off against the general public of those that are questioning Disney overall agenda when it comes to their usage of DEI being used improperly in many different and various TV shows and movies etc for not just this year but also for 2025 and beyond. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. Now, whether you love or hate the guy, you gotta admit that Elon Musk, somebody to that extent, was very much needed to call out Bob Iger to call out and expose Disney for what they truly are and what they truly are pushing within the entertainment business, all right, everything related to film or television, and this is just something that Elon keeps pressing on, and rightfully so. Again, like I said before, whether you love or hate the guy, you have to admit that somebody of that status was very much needed to really expose Disney, to really kind of show everyone what's really going on, and more people are beginning to wake up more and more, and I think that's a major reason why so many people are against the act Light series by Lucasfilm. Now, moving on forward, all right, on top of all of this, one thing about Elon Musk is that he really does seem to tick off a lot of celebrities, all right? A lot of celebrities are very unhappy about the changes that happened to, tw to Twitter, of course, uh, which is now known as X. However, with the Walt Disney Company and all of its divisions getting hit by Bob Iger's cost-cutting measures, one major development now has to do with Joy Behar, one of the voices of Disney who recently defended Disney and attacked Elon Musk. Behar went on to deliver the following, in wake of the Nelson Peltz situation, which by the way guys, he is a dear friend of Nelson Peltz, makes sense. She goes on to say, I just think he is the most immature businessman I have ever seen in my lifetime. I think he has some serious issues to work out with himself and his obsession with Disney and Mr. Iger, who makes everything possible in show business. As someone who enjoys social media and getting the opportunity to share my moments with my fans and followers, it was disheartening to see what happened to Twitter not all that long ago. I thought it was very selfish of Elon to rebrand and change the name nature of the site slash app. Someone who is a billionaire should be focusing on his work, not overly, of course, communicating with people on the internet or taking over other companies. I just think it's childlike behavior when he should really be focusing on non-biased opinions to run free on, I guess you have to call it X now. Clearly, Elon has some major issues with Disney and all of its studios that surround it. And I'm not shocked he has an issue with our program. When he made those remarks about Bob Iger on stage, I thought that was the most disgusting behavior I have seen from a businessman, especially a known billionaire coming from his status. It's something unthinkable. You expect a man like that to act professional, and it couldn't be any more obvious that he supports those that don't behave well at the workplace, like defending Gina Carano, who has and who was fired from another studio at Disney, I believe it was Lucasfilm. Everything Bob Iger is and has been doing is innocent. There is no agenda by focusing on diversity, equity, and inclusion, and for Elon to really challenge that and spread those beliefs is truly offensive. I just think when you are a businessman as big as Elon, you don't go after Disney, you don't go after Bob Iger, and you most certainly don't make ridiculous claims that they are forcing on agenda on the general public. It's something that Disney gets blamed for from one whole side of of the general public that really doesn't know what they are talking about. As a feminist and one who supports equality and women getting significant roles in show business, I think Elon is doing more damage th to that process and it's not helping anybody at all. He obviously has a personal issue with Disney and Bob Iger as well as everything that the film industry is trying to change in this world. When I first saw Elon transform Twitter, all I could say to myself was how self-centered that was, especially after he changed what was allowed to be done on the site. 
there is an ego there, and it's a type of ego, ego that needs to just go away already. I'm sure he will continue to claim this or that about what he thinks Disney has been up to, and it's just not going to stop unless more people like us in this industry begin to realize and warn others what's really going on here with Mr. Musk. Now guys, let me stop here before I move on about what Joy is spewing about Elon Musk, which is all just ridiculous and nonsense. But what's interesting about this is that she is really going on to say that Disney has no agenda, that Disney's focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion is not an agenda at all. That in, in and of itself is just out of this world, crazy and ludicrous. All right, that just goes to show you how Joy Behar is just Joy Behar. This is all to be expected coming from her. It's not all that surprising. Am I that shocked? Absolutely not. Am I that shocked that she doesn't like Mr. Musk, as she calls him? Pretty cringe, but yeah, I mean, I'm not really all that shocked at all that she has a problem with Elon Musk. She's on Twitter. She's been on Twitter, which it's called X now, by the way, and... Obviously, a lot of celebrities have an issue with that, for obvious reasons, and Elon talks about this all the time. And again, as I mentioned earlier in this video, whether you support him or do not support Elon Musk, I really do give a big clap to Elon for really just shouting out to everyone what Disney is really all about, and more people are waking up because of that. Now, moving onwards, she goes on to conclude, with Musk, I think he just needs to take a chill pill and get off social media for the next five years because anything he writes is nothing of value and does not aid anybody's problems in society. That's the main issue here with, once again, Mr. Musk, like I said before, is that he has this ego and obsession with Disney. Alright, Joy Behar, I think, is as cringe to begin with by calling him Mr. Musk and all this weird stuff, but... When you focus on Joy Behar, she really is truly one of the faces and voices of the Walt Disney Company. She's had her issues recently with Disney over the whole Deadpool 3 drama with the marketing campaign after losing Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman for exclusive interviews on The View. We talked about this numerous times and recent developments about that that's been going out of control behind the scenes. Check that out if you would want to, but it's interesting about this is that Behar, once again, really going off on Elon Musk. Not really all that shocking because a lot of celebrities do this, and it's very much clear why they do this, and it's utterly ridiculous. But Joy Behar, nobody watches The View. Nobody really that has a true mind of their own watches The View. All right, it's all about the message. That's all what it's really about when it comes to the Walt Disney Company. And for her to stand up for Bob Iger like that makes it even more cringe for Joy Behar in the public eye. Because we all know that Bob Iger is nothing more than a liar after what happened with Nelson Peltz and how Peltz said that if things don't change, you're gonna see me again. So we can all expect Nelson to come back and start everything over again in 2025 and what he did in this year. And I think eventually shareholders are going to wake up. So overall guys, you know, drop a comment below, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.